Hi, my name is Nikolai J and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be swatching the Fenty Matchsticks. I picked them up about a month, month and a half ago. They were $13 on the Fenty website, so hopefully you didn't miss out on that. But if you did, they're still available for purchase and they retail for $25, so let's get into swatching them. Okay, so just so you're aware, this is Ebony and this is Espresso. Espresso is the one I use all the time. And as you can see, it's a bit warmer. Ebony is definitely cooler, but I like them both. Okay, so I'm going to try out Espresso on this side and then, um, what is this one? Ebony on this side, just to see which one I like better. So I really like Espresso. I use it quite a bit. This is not the first time it's been used. I have to look at the mirror behind me if you're wondering what I'm looking at. that's that's solid okay so this one is espresso it doesn't look as red on my face now it's here as you can see it's a bit redder it looks less red actually right now I feel than it did on my hand but yeah all right now let's blend it out I'll blend it out with this sponge okay I tried to make it a little more intense so that it would be easier to see on camera. So, can you see how that's turning out? I feel like it's a tad bit difficult to see. It's here. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm trying to make it so that it's easier to see. Oh, the natural light is not great. Okay, try and put Ebony on the other side. It's a fresh, fresh matchstick. I don't generally warm them up, so, but they go on pretty easy. At least Espresso does. I don't know. We're going to try out Ebony right now and see. Okay. That is definitely visibly deeper. I kind of want to go over it again. I'm going to go over it again because I went over Espresso, but Espresso is also lighter. Um, and we're going to see... How this works out, I'll be using this sponge. Ooh, oh, that is like, that is definitely darker. That is, that is definitely darker. I feel like you really, you really, whereas this is more a subtle light contour and I didn't even fully blend that out, but it's fine, we'll go back over it of course. But this, this is like, well, and this sponge is like way softer. I forgot how soft this sponge It's not showing as nicely on camera. I don't know. When I back up, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, now see, that is blended out pretty nicely. And I feel like on camera, it's not even showing up that well. It's right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's actually blended out pretty nicely. This one, I swear, it looks like it's here. And it's not just here. It's like all, I can see it in the mirror. It's like, uh, I put espresso here, which, hmm, yeah. All right, so out of the two that I like better, I'm not gonna look on camera because I feel like it's just not doing justice. Let's see, out of the two, if I had to choose one, I really like them both, but I feel like the ebony is more like, mm, you know, because it's deeper and it's cooler. So I feel like it's more like versus the espresso is a little more subtle. Um, So far, that's my reactions. Before I speak too soon, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. Well, no, you know what? I'm not going to play you like that. Let me apply it here like I normally would and kind of just, yeah, let's see. This is espresso. So, so I'm going to. This was a sponge I used. Let's see. And I typically don't blend out my contour before I blend out my concealer. But for the purposes of this video, I just thought you can sit there. It's fine. So I already know how espresso looks. I like espresso. It's not again showing as soft because the light is playing your girl. But it's okay. It's life. Um, 
so yeah espresso looks normal per usual i really like the way espresso looks i've always liked the way it looked and now we are going to put ebony on this side ebony is dark y'all now not as dark as caviar but i think now i kind of want caviar at first i was like i'm not gonna get caviar it's gonna be way too dark on me but seeing how nice ebony compliments me i'm wondering can i take that leap can i do caviar i kind of want to order it because i like ebony this one i guess i could have squiggled too but it's fine oh that made it like really thick it's fine it's fine so I'm already, one, realizing I put, like, way too much of this on. But, I mean, it's not like I can't work it out, get it in there, blend it in there. But, of course, now I'm seeing how it being visibly darker is playing a major part in how it's coming out. I like it. I like it. I feel like this is lit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is darker, of course. I got espresso, of course, is visibly darker. I feel like, though, whereas espresso kind of warms my face and it complements it, but I feel like it's so much softer in, contra in contrast to um, ebony. I feel like ebony is more like... It's like right in your face because it is darker and it's cooler and um i feel like warm tones do you girl a little bit better than things that are super cool but i actually really really am liking ebony so i don't i don't know but this is something that you want to try your best and not be too heavy handed with oh my gosh espresso i i love espresso like she and i have become best friends i feel like it's so much more soft and subtle of a contour and like i said it's warmer so it kind of like cups your face and it's like come here little baby and then uh ebony is more like we don't have time for that let's get the job done let's make it happen let's, yeah and it's like but they both do that for you they both give you the contoured look so let me finish my face off camera and come back and tell you my final thoughts all right so i'm back with my final thoughts and i've had time to play with them and kind of get my makeup together and i've decided that where are they sorry i have like so many i like them both i'm sorry i know you're probably like what i watched this only for you not to know i know but i really really like them both but i will say this to help you decide I feel like, and remember, uh, Espresso, by the way, was on this side, and Ebony was on this side. I feel like Espresso is a softer, more subtle contour that kind of, like, cuddles you, and it, it, like, gently coaxes you out into the world. It's like, it's okay. I'm right here. I got your back. Versus I feel like Ebony is like, get out there. We don't have time for this. You're an adult. Move it. I feel like that's the kind of contour she is. I feel like she is just... In your face, she's like, I'm here. There's no mistaking me for anything else. You see me. You know what I am. You know what I'm about. And Espresso is like, I don't know. You can, you can like, I'm here, but I'm just gentle. I'm quiet. I'm hiding behind everybody. You don't have to give me attention. It's fine. And Espresso, I mean, and Ebony is like, no, you gonna pay attention to me. So hopefully that helps you in deciding which one you want. And like I said, I like both of these so much. I want to get caviar. I feel like I might be doing too much in the sense that it's probably gonna be too dark on me. But I want to try it because I thought ebony was going to maybe be too dark on me, and I like it. It is darker, of course, but I like it. So I want to try caviar and see if maybe I can even get away with pulling that one off. I don't think I'm going to be able to though because I do feel like that one's just like really deep but I'm willing to try it because I like both of these I feel like they applied easily these apply easier to me than the matchsticks do uh, some of the matchsticks go on like butter but these all like all of the ones that I've had well I've only had these two but the two that I've had have gone on like butter they've been so smooth on my face I haven't had any problems versus with um some of the shimmer sticks the shimmer match sticks um 
they're a little rough you got to warm them up and do all that stuff and even sometimes they still kind of tug at the skin like um one of them i was putting on my eyelid and my contact almost came out and i wasn't trying to rub hard or anything it just you know in order to get some kind of color payoff i kind of had to put a little elbow grease in it but i still liked it overall all right so i hope this review has been helpful i hope you have figured out if you want to get one or the other um i personally think you should get both if you can but if you can't that's totally okay thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you in the next one